RZE is tearing it up. We got five watches, two years. This young brand has a ton of momentum. I don't see anyone stopping them. They might go to the moon. It's a fantastic brand. If you missed their other releases, maybe this one's for you. Let's check it out. Introducing the all new RZE Valor 38 field watch in grade two titanium. This brand is known for making tough, durable, sporty, edgy designs, and the all new Valor is no exception. And right off the bat, you can tell that the case is gorgeous. It has a sharp, sporty, tapering look, and I'm loving the way RZE played with the finish. Normally, where you would put high polish on those bevels, it's brushed satiny smooth, but it still pops in an interesting way against that bead blasted finish. It's well done. It elevates the watch and makes it feel a little bit more premium. And of course, RZE cares about durability. So the case 1200 HV Ultra Hex coating. So you're not going to have to worry about the typical titanium scratching easily. But have they done enough? On their two year anniversary, they are going back to Kickstarter. And this thing debuts at 219 USD. I had to email RZE back to make sure the pricing was correct before I released the video. I was thinking it's a little bit low, but after the launch, it's going to retail for 299 and that makes more sense to me. The launch date is August, so in two days. Make sure you jump on it. Check the links down below to RZE's website and their Kickstarter. Now let's find out how much watch we are getting for our $219. We talked about the titanium, the ultra hex coating, the interesting finishes on that case. Now let's look at the features. Of course, we're getting a sapphire crystal here, and this one is flat. And that's a big deal. Many people complain about the Hamilton khaki field having a ton of reflections. It kind of ruins the experience for people. The watch comes with a screw down crown at six millimeters with an amazing grip. It will exfoliate your skin, giving the Valor 100 meters of water resistance. Now let's do those measurements. I got 38 millimeters in diameter. Thickness of 11.2, drilled lugs for easy strap changes, and a lug to lug of 45 even. Excellent compact dimensions. It's going to wear great on many wrist sizes. The lug size is 20 mil, and it does come on a rubber strap, RZE logo on the inside. I wore it on this, but it also comes with a blue NATO. It's very bright. It doesn't really match the dial, and it does come with ultra hex coated titanium hardware. I would love to see a sharp, dramatically tapered titanium bracelet for this beauty. What about you guys? Would you want a bracelet on this model? I know the price will increase, but I think a lot of people will be happy with an optional bracelet. The case back is titanium. It says RZE and the usual spec sheet. The dial is a gorgeous matte Egyptian blue with a hint of turquoise. It's a beautiful deep blue. Huge fan of it. The Arabic numerals on the dial are a varsity style font, which is very cool. And in the classic field watch tradition, we have military time underneath those Arabics. But the size is definitely smaller than the military time on the khaki field, giving the dial a cleaner, uncluttered look and increasing legibility. RZE even put their logo in the chapter ring area. <laughs> when we compare it next to the khaki field, it has a longer lug to lug. A lot of people complaining about Hamilton's long lug to lug. This one might be the answer. And this retails for 495 USD. So you know what? You can save 200 bucks right there. And it doesn't even have a smoother sweep. It's 21.6. So no real advantage except for guess the 80 hours and the history. But next to the RZE's beautiful tapering case, the Hamilton's looking a little bit boring. RZE is saying that their field watch at 57 grams is probably the lightest on the market. But let's check it out on this rubber strap. Okay, on the rubber, 75 grams. That is still incredibly light. The Valor is powered by the NH38 no date movement, so we don't have a ghost position 
Very nice. 42 hours of power reserve, 24 jewels, hack hand wine, automatic, 21.6, VPH. And look at that. Pretty good. Powerful amplitude at 290. And the rate negative three. Little bit of B air there. Actually, <laughs> a lot of B air, 0 0.6. But this one is a prototype, guys. And it's still doing pretty good. Okay, we're going to do 12 down to see how is this watch actually going to perform when you wear it. And the beat error got better by 0.2, which we have seen many times on the channel. When we do, when we go from dial up to 12 down, there's usually a 0.2 change. And amplitude, still very strong, 274. And look at the rate, 11, 11, 11. Very consistent, right when I said that, it went to 15, fourth and final round. What was dial up? Negative three. So on the wrist, it's gonna be about plus 11. Okay, there is a loom shot and I'm surprised that the Arabics are loomed. I did not know that. The hands seem decent, even with the faux patina. The Arabics very weak. It looks like BGW9 and the loom plots on the chapter ring or the hash mark area. It's weak, just like the Hamilton khaki field walk. I want you guys to know that RZE is going to be reading the comments and they wanna hear your thoughts and opinions. They are very close knit with the community and I like what they're doing. And this thing is accessible, tough, big fan of it. Huge, huge win for RZE. I think they're gonna sell a boatload. If this is the first time seeing this brand and you like their signature design theme, Check out the videos on the right of your screen right now. And remember to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.